Hey guys, so for this next video, let's talk about um, pushy salesmen. And that's something that we're not as LuLaRoe reps. And I think that was the biggest thing I was concerned about with joining. And I think that's a big concern for most um, people when joining a direct sales company is that you don't want to be known as a person that's spamming their friends or being pushy um, or annoying. And so I can totally relate to that. I had That was probably my biggest fear. Um, joining LuLaRoe is I didn't want to be known as that person that was shoving products on um, my friends and I know I talked about that a little bit before um, and so I've never been a good salesperson I've never hosted a party um, you know how there's um, Pampered Chef and there's makeup um, lines and Jamberry I've never hosted anything like that um, I'm just not a good person like that um, but when I started really realizing, like, um, what LuLaRoe is about and how to sell, like, then I realized this was right up my alley. I will tell you instantly, it's just my nature when I find something that I love. I will talk about it. And that's just most human nature. When you find something you love, you're like, I found the greatest thing, right? I mean, I could go off on a few things. I found, um, this lipstick, right? This isn't, um. LuLaRoe, but I found this lipstick and I tell all my friends about it because it stays on forever. Um, I found a miracle for us that was a godsend as new parents. Um, the rock and play rocker was the only thing that my son would sleep in when he was brand new and he was sick. And that was a godsend. So those are things that like when I'm talking to people, they just naturally come out in conversation, right? It's something that it's like, oh, I found this thing and I really think it's great. Same thing with LuLaRoe. Being a consultant is just being a product of the product. It's wearing it, and then when they see it out, and they say, hey, I love that cardigan. Where did you get it? And you say, hey, here's my card. I actually sell them. Feel free to stop by, or you can pop online and shop whenever when I have my pop-ups. Um, that's really, like, what LuLaRoe is and being a salesperson. It is um, sharing how these clothes make you feel. So it can be going on Instagram and saying, like, oh, this clothes... This outfit makes me feel great as a postpartum mom. Or um, maybe you're pregnant and you're like, this outfit makes me feel great during my pregnancy. It's something that actually fits and isn't clingy. Because had I known about this line, that's probably something I would have said during my pregnancy. I probably would have um, been wearing this. So that's really what um, being the salesperson is with LuLaRoe. Um, and so, like I said, what's one product other than LuLaRoe? What's one product that you can think of right now? that you use and love. And have you told a friend about it? You probably have. Or a family member or something like that. Just thinking about it in conversation, right? It naturally comes up. Maybe it's um, something like, I was using the example of the rock and play. So a friend saying, I cannot get my newborn to stay asleep. Nothing's working. And then you tell them about this rock and play. And that's just how it came up with a few of my friends that had babies after me. I told them, Look, my little guy was sick when he was born. He had a UTI. He was in the hospital when he got released. He wasn't gaining weight. And we struggled. And the only way he would sleep was on my chest. And then I wouldn't sleep. And so I had to figure out something else. It wasn't working. The bassinet wasn't working. Nothing was working for us. And so I just naturally had found this rock and play from other friends telling me. And then I turned around and told my other friends that were struggling. And that's how, that's how this can work without being pushy, without sending messages that are saying, hey, how come you haven't bought a skirt for me? Hey, how come you haven't done this? Um, and there are ways to send messages and to get them invited without being pushy. It's building those genuine connections and then saying, you know, I have a couple girls that I know are in, big into flowers, like anything flower print. And so I'll send them a message and be like, hey, I don't know if you've seen this, but this is right up your alley. Um, I just wanted to show you in case it was something you were into. Something like that. Um, or I know some girls that say, I have girlfriends that'll say like, oh, I really want to get like a whole new wardrobe, but it's so expensive. And so I'll throw out there, you know, like, hey, after we were talking, just an idea. I know you said you wanted to really stock up on LuLaRoe, but it's expensive for you. So just throwing it out there if you want to have a party so that you don't have to um, pay for it. Have your friends come shop and then they'll basically fund your new wardrobe. And I've done that for a few girls. So that's just another option. It's just really building those genuine connections and being a product of the product 
Um, and then you no longer worry about being a pushy salesman because it just becomes natural and you're not pushing it on people. You're really just explaining the product and what you believe in and you're just wearing it and showing it off. So if you, if you love wearing the clothes, um, and that's like what my whole point of this is, is if you love wearing the clothes, if you love the brand, if you love the comfort, everything that LuLaRoe is about, this will become natural to you. Just like sharing any other product is natural to you out of conversation that you're having, right? Um, this becomes second nature. It just um, is something that, you know, you're, you're so used to wearing or talking about or you want to share that it just comes up naturally and it doesn't become some conversation that becomes pushy. Um, and that's just some food for thought when you're thinking about, am I going to be a pushy salesman? Cause that's the way I approach it. And that's really what's helped trigger me, um, into getting out of that fear of being a pushy salesman. So let me know what you guys think. Um, if you have any questions or comments, um, just drop them below and I'll start answering them. Thanks guys.